Good day traders, good day my family. Yo, I'm very sorry, I'm very sorry. I'm just a little bit late. I was rushing to make this video to show you something. So I saw in this other group on Telegram people crying saying uh Deriv is manipulating the market. See how uh Boom 1000 is reacting, it's been selling for a very long time. I'm like, guys, 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 you need to learn price action. <laughs> okay <laughs> let me show you what's happening here but i'm a little bit late i wanted to show you where we are expecting a spike and it happened as i was busy opening up my my my, my, my uh, trading view uh, i'm very sorry but anyway i'm just gonna analyze with you and show you what's happening here with boom 1000 guys learn to use price action yes indicators will work but learn to use price action i'm also going to show you an indicator that um i also confirmed the spike that just happened now on boom 1000 so if you look on boom 1000 uh check here on one minute i want you to see how long it's been selling whilst you're busy opening that if it is your first time here trading um with us or if it is your first time uh watching our videos then please 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 we urge you to click that subscribe button so that uh every time when we upload videos you don't miss out okay guys uh these videos i've been uploading for quite some time now if you're liking the videos let's like the videos and also don't forget to comment you know uh, in the comment section i see people you viewing the videos i'm not sure if you're enjoying or not so at least comment and let me know all right so you can see how uh boom 1000 have been selling from this point all the way down to this point and people are like look at the small spikes that are coming like this and this and this and then people are like ah now they might manipulating the market because we're expecting at least like good spike around here when they saw this small spike then they thought it's gonna be followed by a long spike which yes sometimes it happens that way but guys if you analyze this market you would know that where to expect the price to turn okay let's not just talk let's analyze what made the price to fall like this why did the price sell for such a long time let's go to four hours i don't know i'm gonna check on four hours if it's clear there if not we'll go to one hour i know uh on a one hour it's showing very okay four hours is fine four hours is fine guys look at the market here look how the market reacted here on these levels on these levels right and then you take your line and you draw your trend line right uh let me use um horizontal line right you come here and draw your line right there you can see where we're expecting price to react so of course price go to that level and it reacted let's go to one hour now that we know where we're expecting price to react if we go to one hour is this level so on that level definitely when you are marking a level we don't just put a line and say okay when it gets exactly by the line they need to react nope we'll put a box like this so we're expecting anywhere within that box anywhere within that box that the price will react so it can be just as it gets to the box once it's inside the box just after it seemed like it's about to get out of the box anyway price can react anyway okay so now that we are here the price here to respect that um that resistant level right the price re re uh, react re reacted to that resistant level so where were we expecting price to react again now guys look at this look at this right i want you to see this i want you to see this i want you to see what has been happening with the market on these levels um come all the way yeah look yeah 
Now if we take again our horizontal line and put on those lines here, yeah. we expecting price to come down again, not just to that line, but now we put our box here. We expecting price to react. So guys, guys, look, you see that week, that week right there. We want to take our box up to that week that week from that level and then you put your box here so we are expecting price to come to this support and then react right on that support so now that we notice that on one hour let's go to um let's go let's say to five minutes now if we go to five minutes we can see that price was coming from this level and it was coming to test this level okay so we just missed because it's supposed to be on this week here so our week was here um i'm sure you can see this this year so i'm not just trying to draw this line to match here but you can see right here right now with that in mind we're expecting price to come down to this level and then only react there so if you go to one minute time frame the price has been dropping like crazy the price has been dropping like crazy look here small spike small spike small spike but we're not going to expect bigger spikes here because price is going to this level so yes it happens that sometimes it gives a big spike and still continues gives another big spike and still continues or can give these small spikes anything is possible you can't tell the market what to do but what you can tell the market not to tell but where you can expect the market to turn is the levels of interest so in this case we're looking at uh in this case we're looking at that uh, level uh, okay now like i said i also want to show you um an indicator guys i'm judge i want to rush and try to make this video as short as possible right now that we we, we said we're expecting price to turn here and go up now let's see with an indicator right i'm just gonna drag this and put it here guys i want you to see what happened here with this bollinger band so you can see that price was coming down price was coming down and as it touch as price touch that um check here as price touch that bollinger band and then it reacted and if you wanna see the same way it reacted here is the same way it has been reacting look when it gets to to that bollinger band how it reacts then it tends it spikes so usually if you start showing people what the price has been doing then people will be like yeah but that is back testing uh we want to see live how it reacts on live because sometimes then it keeps going with uh, um with this setup i promise you guys once it get to that bollinger band it reacts to to, 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 to that bollinger band so look how it spiked when it get there the exact thing it did when it gets to that key level and with this bollinger band if you go to different time frames you see uh how you can use it uh on every different on every time frame it's different right but now that the price is there what do we expect looking at this bollinger band there is a possibility that from that middle bollinger band it's gonna come down and then go up again we're expecting buys on this boom 1000 but right now it's on that level where it's still you know uh reversing so we're expecting price to come down and then continue go up or 
Oh, there we go. It spiked again. Now that the price spiked and passed this uh, Bollinger Band, now we expect price to come to this. Uh, sorry. We expect price to come to this Bollinger Band and then go up. And then from there, go up. So now this is what we are expecting on this uh, level now. So going back to one hour, um, I want to I want to end this video. Yeah, it's been too long. I want to end this video. Okay. Uh, coming back here, you can see what has been happening with the market. So there is high chances that the price is gonna reverse also a little bit before continuing going up or might just continue going up. So right now, what do we do if you want to take uh, trades? If you have a huge account, you know this is going to be a buy. Uh, you can take your trades and hold, even if it reverses and come back, you can hold. But for safe entries, there's two scenarios here. The first one is to wait for the market to break this level here uh, to break this level here so once the price come uh, once the price come all the way up retest then we expect it to go up then you can take or as soon as it break you take your entries here when it come back to retest then it's break even uh, if it continues you are in if it reverse then you can put your stop loss depending on how big is your account you choose where to put a stop loss but that's what you're expecting or the second scenario is you can wait for the price to come down now our interests level of interest is still this so if it comes down now we're not expecting because uh it's been like like on a downtrend it's been coming down but our level of interest is this once it's come back here it's creating some sort of a w formation not w this is not w but like a, a double bottom and then expecting price to go up so you can look out for that and take your entries there the other thing that was also gonna show us that this is gonna be a nice sell we can see how price created this double top this was a clear double top indicating a good sell so the fact that price has been selling for a very long time that doesn't surprise us because that's what we expect the market to do but once it gets here what are you gonna do about it okay so that that is what i just wanted to show because i i see people blaming boom 1000 why it's been selling for so long and are uh, they manipulating the markets and whatsoever but no guys don't worry about all this long sell it's it's normal it's okay but if you know price action then you know when to enter when not to this is when we say avoid the market leave the market but guys just to let you know boom and crash is um it's easy to trade if you know price action yes indicators will help you but no price action for boom and crash even for all other indices vix 75 step index vix 100 you name it but to be good with uh boom 500 boom 1000 crash 500 crash 1000 we need to know price action okay guys um i want to cut this video because now it's too long but i also want to show you another video i'm gonna make that video maybe tomorrow or a day after tomorrow subscribe so that when i upload it you see it but i want to show you how you can analyze because now we are analyzing using one hour or two hours or four hours time frame then for someone will be like you know i don't have a big account that can hold analysis on such a big account on, on such a, um, a big uh, time frame so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another video okay in two days so a day after tomorrow i'll make another video and then i'll show how we can use uh, price action even on one minute time frame you can analyze on one minute time frame and take uh, entries for spikes on one minute time frame not four hour not one day on one minute time frame 
okay guys um i say thank you for watching and uh there's more videos that we're analyzing the markets the indicators some indicators that can be helpful when trading the markets so if you want you can go and watch those videos but guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the videos leave the comments i would really appreciate if you support the channel and until next time i say have a good one